Welcome to the Creating Experience podcast, where we take you behind the scenes of unforgettable events. I'm Emma, and I'm joined by my co-host, James. Together, we bring you years of experience in the event industry. Today, we're talking about software that we use to help plan and execute the events that we run day to day. Make our lives easier. They make our lives very easy. Yep. So, you want to start with Asana? Asana. So Asana is a project management system Mm -hmm. that we use for all of our events. Um, The great thing about the way that you've set it up Mm. is that when we create an event in our RMS, it actually auto-populates into Asana for us. So it sets up things like tasks due dates, yeah. we can allocate jobs to different people within the office or outside of the organization. Yeah. And it's just, it's your to-do list yeah. for every event. You can add things in, you can take things out, but at the end of the day, it's a holistic event planning tool that yeah. we use that we can just tick a box at yeah. the end of the day. And it's, I like it from the creative side because sometimes when you click the <laughs> button this unicorn flies out and it's it's like you see emma they're pressing tasks i'm that, just like yeah dun, 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 dun. there's tasks that, like, there's in, because yeah you can create template which is why it's great for us because we can create template tasks and we can have different we've got different templates depending on what the type different of job, jobs are yeah. the job is so if it's just a production only job there's only production specific stuff if it's an event man uh, uh, entertainment job there's uh, entertainment specific things but you can obviously set it up so that, you know, you can have subtasks. There's different ways you can view it. You yep. can view it in a calendar view or a list view. Um, and you a lot all, of... You can even put budgets in there as well. Yeah, you, you can to. upload files yeah. and then email out of it. So essentially, it's just like a really good central point for collaboration if you've got a team of people. Um yeah, and any in terms of for those you know the techie people, it does integrate with Zapier, and and what we've managed to do with it yeah. is integrate with our stuff. So as soon as a job, or you can we can essentially if we need an Asana project created for a job, we just tick, tick the, the option, and then yeah. five minutes later, there's our uh, templates there. populated. Yeah. So Asana, and if you're someone yeah. that um, has everything in your head, um, and it gets overwhelming. It gets, yeah, but. Um, it's a, it's really good. You, you yeah. don't need post-it notes or anything like that. And there is so. free versions of it too. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, the more features you want, you obviously need to look at getting a subscription. But there is it is a free version. Yeah, right. Of the software. Um, the other thing but, too is it's a project management tool. From so if you're going for a tender, for example, and they want to see your project plan yep. from a timing perspective, you can also print out a a timeline of events of how and where you're going to be doing things. So that's really cool as well. So Asana is a must have any event planning. It's just easy. And there's a few different ones out there, but we, we went with Asana because it's, it's great. It's practical. It's easy to use. Um, it was the most flexible. I had more options and obviously we've got, we've got paid accounts for it, but it, it, um, yeah, it's usability. It's really easy mm. to use. So Asana is definitely one worth checking out. Yes. The next one is One Plan. Yes. So, so One Plan is the god of um, site maps. Yeah, it's, it's it's so good because it's down to as you were saying before the millimeter or the centimeter of planning out your event on a site. Um, you can also do indoors as well um, if you've got some particular yeah. events. But for us, we use it from an outdoor perspective. So if we're looking at how, like where a stage would fit or how many market stalls that we can put into a particular venue, uh, it maps it out. Yeah. So it's it's an essentially it's like a Google Maps but mm. built for events. Yeah. So when you, you create an event in there, you create your location, it'll pop up. As if it's Google Maps, it actually pulls. You can pull like Street View Google Map, um, satellite, satellite Google Google Maps, and then it's also got a HD satellite mm. option, which is really cool because you can actually change. There's um, time frames on it, so you can have a look at what the site looked like three years ago versus what the site looks like now, mm. um, and you can see, you know, if there's been any changes over time on on that site. Um, 
but yeah, in terms of using a satellite image, it's got measuring tools. That's what I, I love most about it. So we can, you can draw dot point to point and it will, as Em said, it'll pretty much, it's pretty, it is pretty accurate, accurate like to yep. the centimeter. The other thing I like about it too is, um, and it kind of would have been great during COVID time is that you can point to point a site yeah. and um, find out how many people you can actually fit a uh, square meter. Like, it's so it, cool. It is actually, there is a, li- there is a long list. Of, and we, even uh, EVAC, EVAC routes, like, so you, it, in terms of measurement, so yep. we've, in terms of doing, which is really big, particularly if people are trying to do DA applications and you need to come up with evacuation management plans yeah. and stuff, or well, realistically, you should probably have them anyway for yes. <laughs> any event. But um, yeah, you can essentially draw your EVAC plans and you can choose the width of the EVAC mm. route and how many people, and it will give you a calculation as to how many people you could EVAC mm. in a particular period of time so i mean like there's some big companies if you have a look at their website there's some really big organizations that you like they use it for silverstone f1 the formula Mm -hmm. one grand prix um and there's a whole number of things obviously because of the measurement side you can obviously put in your infrastructure another tool that we use a lot of the time is um along with the measurement tool is you can measure how many pieces of crowd control barrier and site site fencing which is what i love and i go so how much is that going to? Um, how much is that actually going to cost us? Yeah. From Can you a, just make a call. No, it, I accidentally answered a call on my f- watch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sorry about that. Um. um so. <laughs> but yeah, no site. So site fencing, you can draw point to point lines mm-hmm. and. It'll give you, it, and you can even add, like, you, you can add a 5% buffer. So then it gives you infantry lists yes. as well. So, um, and yeah, it's like, oh, there's so many things. It, so it, many. From an and event management side yeah. of thing, go and check out one plan. And um, the big, the big, the big one why international events use it is because it's got the what three words. Have you heard about that? The what, sorry? The what three words. What three words? So essentially, there's an international code. Yeah. Where every oh, yeah, yeah. every yes. yes yes. I think it's every three square meters or every I think it's every three square meters. There is a combination of three words. Yes. And you type that in, and so and it that, takes you directly and it takes you to directly that to that. So that's yeah. why like big event sites use it because they can just if there's an issue in a particular sector, they'll go what three words, like what your location is, and they'll say the three words, and then the event person can go Go to that site. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, So, but yeah, one plant, like, yeah, for event, we we just use it to get really high quality satellite images. Well, you do. I do. I use it for planning my (laughs) event sites. But, um. um, And and just knowing how many people I can fit, how many. Yeah, the the space one's a really good one. And the other thing too is if you're having a licensed bar and you need, a specific amount of space mm. in that bar or know how many people in to present to the yep. police, you can also yep. use that as a gauge. So, so, so many little bits and pieces. Plan, but yeah, but yeah, so again, it, it is actually, you can get on a free account and get one event per email. But um, again, as I said, for, for event planners, it's just... So good. It's been a really helpful yep. piece of equipment. The next one, Canva. Canva. You want me to talk about Canva? Oh, I, I'm, I'll. <laughs> if they were, I mean, so Canva is essentially, it's a graphic design tool. Yes. And it's just, it's just keeps getting better and better, but you can essentially create social media posts, signage, videos. We use it for pretty much everything. Yeah, definitely. Um, it comes up with design ideas. You can have branding guidelines. You can create a Facebook post and then resize it for Instagram or LinkedIn. So that's, or... we have the pro version. So in a normal standard free version, so you yeah. can get it in free. Um, but to be able to resize, to take out backgrounds of things, um, yeah. also giving you more uh, um images and fonts you'll yeah. need to go to the pro version which it's still really affordable for a uh, for what it is like a lot of things unreal. that you know in the yeah. past people would normally have to send to a graphic designer to yeah. do or have a photoshop a photoshop adobe cloud 
an account. Yep. Like, um, it is an amazing. Like, we use it all the time for our LED, like LED screen content where we're resizing content to fit LED yep. screen. Like, typically what happens in a lot people will send me their content and depending on what it is, we'll resize it. <laughs> And yeah. throw it into Canva. If it's like scrolling logos, like even down to if businesses don't have, like one of my pet hates is when you get a sponsor slideshow, for example, yeah. or a sponsor holding slide and one person's image has got a square rectangle a rectangle background on it because they don't have a transparent, transparent file. Yeah, oh, and then some ones it, is just yeah. like a black transparent or one's a white logo transparent and that nothing matches, mm-hmm. you can actually go and, edit it and so it all looks uniform so not taking away from graphic designers because they do incredible things and they do things that canva can't do from a a design logos and all the creative side of things but if you're looking at social media posts um, presentations and things like that it's 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 a great start great program like yeah um so canva is a must-have for the event Event. Just any business, Event planning. really. <laughs> All your social posts, yeah. signage, everything yeah. can be done in Canva. Fantastic. Cool. Um, the next one quickly is a c- program called Current RMS. And yep. this is this is kind of the backbone of what we use for all our orders. And it's just a rental management system for us. So it helps us know if we're going to have enough cables so or like an enough inv- microphones. So like an inventory management system. Yeah. And also from a customer perspective. So every quote, every order, even uh, our inquiries do populate into that. Yeah. Um, agreements, so making sure that our contracts are assigned yeah. and then also posting um, to zero all of our invoices. Yeah. So we're, all we do all of that through current. Yeah. And um, it's a really good program, especially if you are, say, a production AV, anyone that's got Equipment inventory, hire. even stylists, it would mm. work really well for as well. Yep. Um, so they can have all Just of so their you can gear. know, and it's easy to, yeah, easy to create quick quotes yep. with the amount of gear that you need on it. And so, it looks good. Yeah. Um, and the last one is... Vector works. This is you pretty can, high. You can this ve- is a pretty you can, high. You can talk vector. <laughs> high level. <laughs> but um, we use vector works for, we can create, obviously, again, measured out floor plans or create 3D renders, essentially, of what particular jobs are going to, to look like. Um, it is not It is not a cheap piece of <laughs> software. <laughs> But it is a very good piece it of software. It looks cool though. So, um, yeah, and yeah. it just helps. It helps particularly on like, well, yeah, for, for customers sometimes when you talk AV and you talk what something's going to look like, we can walk into a room and go, this is going to go there, this is going to go there. And the customer sometimes is just like head spinning, head, head spinning <laughs> because they can't visualize it. They don't understand yeah. how. And so it's just a really helpful tool to be able to go, okay, we'll pop it into Vectorworks and create a render and then that way you you can actually sit there with them and show them what it's going to look like Mm. if we put a stage there and what the difference is between putting a black drape behind it or putting a lead screen here. Even to lighting design and stage, the way stage looks. And and if you're a visual person like me and when you see a vector design that you create, Mm. it is really cool. Even down to (laughs) arc tables, which again, like (laughs) – Tables and having space around tables in a room, mm. like um, fitting fitting things things in into, a room. into a room, yeah. and making sure that everything fits and that it's not going to look cluttered. That's that's where programs like Vectorworks and rendering really come into its own. And I think they just look really cool <laughs> from a visual person. Yeah. So, but yeah. So there you have it. There's there um, our little um, tips and five pieces of software that we use. Um, and that a couple make of our them. our lives so much easier. Yeah. Asana, OnePlan, Canva, Current RMS, and Vectorworks. Yes. Good luck planning your event. <laughs> and if you don't want to pay for a subscription, want us to do your work. <laughs> well, that's that. That is a bonus, isn't it? You engage <laughs> it's a us. bonus of We've what you get. We've got your subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later. Thanks for checking out the Creating Experience podcast. You can find the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as YouTube. 
Be sure to check out our socials as well. We're on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn as well. And if you have an event coming up that you need assistance on, feel free to head to our website, www.jcentertainment.com.au or give us a call on 1-800-JC-EVENTS.